in the furthest reaches of our nearby planet group, past the circle of Neptune, something surprising is occurring. A puzzling power is pushing around frigid articles, and bunches of these articles have surprising circles that can't be made sense of by the known planets alone. Researchers think this could be brought about by an enormous hidden planet, often called Planet Nine. First suggested in 2016, this potential new planet has intrigued stargazers. Strangely, this isn't the initial time a planet has been proposed utilizing arithmetic. Neptune and Pluto were both found because their gravitational impacts were anticipated. Before they were seen through a telescope, space astronomers saw abnormalities in the circles of Uranus, and later in the Kuiper Belt objects, leading to the revelation of these far-off universes a century later. We find ourselves in a similar situation with Planet Nine, following this intriguing tradition of utilizing numerical predictions to uncover hidden planets. Some research suggests it could have been a rogue planet caught by our sun's gravity, while others figure it might have formed from the same disk of gas and dust as other planets. If Planet Nine exists, it is believed to be ten times more massive than Earth and orbit the Sun at a distance of 400 to 800 astronomical units, which is 400 to 800 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Stargazers have been enthusiastically hunting for clues, using powerful telescopes and advanced computer models to trace its effect. After years of watching the sky, solving numerical equations, and running complex programmatic analyses, they now have the strongest evidence yet that Planet Nine truly exists. This discovery presents a thrilling plot twist in the tale of the secret planet. So what evidence did the analysts reveal in their chase after Planet Nine? If we have found exoplanets many trillions of miles away, why has it been so challenging to identify Planet Nine directly in our grandiose lawn, even with some of the most remarkable telescopes available to us? Although Planet Nine was first proposed in 2016, its story began not long after the discovery of Uranus in 1781. Over the years, astronomers took note of something peculiar. Uranus wasn't moving precisely as their calculations predicted. It seemed to accelerate and decelerate in its orbit, indicating that there may be an unseen force acting on it. During the 1840s, two mathematicians, Urbain Le Verrier in France and John Couch Adams in Britain, independently suggested that the unusual movements of Uranus could be caused by the gravitational pull of a hidden planet. They used complex mathematics to predict where this invisible planet might be found. This was a bold hypothesis relying solely on mathematical calculations to propose the existence of an unknown world. Le Verrier sent his predictions to Johann Gottfried Gell, an astronomer at the Berlin Observatory, on the evening of September 23, 1846. Gal and his assistant pointed their telescope to the part of the sky Le Verrier had indicated. Surprisingly, they found Neptune on their first memorable night of searching. It was a wonderful achievement as it was the first time a planet had been discovered through mathematical prediction. Instead of by chance observation, after the successful discovery of Neptune in 1846, astronomers thought they had a complete picture of the major planets in our solar system. However, when they tracked Neptune's orbit, they noticed that, like Uranus before it, it displayed slight deviations from its expected path. These anomalies were subtle but consistent. Given the success of tapping into gravitational forces to predict Neptune's existence based on the orbit of Uranus, astronomers wondered if a similar method could reveal yet another planet much farther. This led to the discovery of Pluto after more than 80 years, on February 18, 1930. Clyde Tombaugh, a young astronomer at Lowell Observatory, identified a faint distant object moving against the backdrop of stars, confirming the existence of another celestial body. Initially hailed as the long-sought planet X, Pluto was subsequently found to be much smaller than expected. Pluto's mass was insufficient to account for the gravitational anomalies observed in the orbits of Uranus and Neptune. This meant that something larger than Pluto lay beyond the orbit of Neptune that hadn't been discovered yet. In 1951, Dutch-American astronomer Gerard Kuiper predicted that there could be not one but several icy objects beyond the orbit of Neptune. And Pluto was just a part of that larger belt of objects known as the Kuiper Belt. 
The first direct observational evidence of Kuiper Belt objects, KBOs, came in 1992, when astronomers David Jewett and Jane Liu discovered 1992 QB1, a small icy body beyond Neptune. This discovery confirmed the existence of a population of objects in the region Kuiper had predicted. As more objects were found beyond Neptune, the term transneptunian objects, TNOs, was introduced to include all objects orbiting the Sun beyond Neptune. TNOs are a broader category that includes any small body in the solar system, orbiting the Sun at a greater average distance than Neptune's 30 astronomical units or more. The discovery of Sedna in 2003 added to this interest. Sedna, another large TNO with a highly elliptical orbit, has a perihelion closest approach to the Sun of around 76 astronomical units and an aphelion farthest point from the Sun of around 936 astronomical units. In the following couple of years, more distant transneptunian objects were discovered. There's a surprising thing about the orbits of TNOs. Imagine you scatter many marbles on a flat surface. Normally, you would expect the marbles to be spread out randomly. But if many of the marbles are oddly clustered in one specific area, it would indicate that some force or factor is pulling them together. This scenario mirrors what scientists have observed with TNOs. Their orbits are not randomly scattered but seem to show clustering. Naturally, if TNOs were orbiting randomly, their paths around the sun would be spread out in all directions, much like the marbles in our analogy. Their perihelion points would be scattered across the sky, not clustered or bunched in one area. However, their aphelion points almost always cluster in one part of the sky. This clustering is highly unusual and suggests that there is a common factor influencing their orbits. Additionally, the long axes of their orbits, the lines connecting their closest and farthest points from the Sun, are aligned in a way that is statistically unlikely to occur by chance. This alignment further supports the idea that an external force, perhaps the gravitational pull of a large hidden planet, is shaping the consistent orientation of these orbits. Building on the discoveries of Sedna, Eris, and other TNOs, the hypothesis of a distant unseen planet 9 gains significant momentum. In January 2016, astronomers Konstantin Batygin and Mike Brown published a groundbreaking paper that further cemented this hypothesis. They analyzed the orbits of six distant TNOs and proposed that these patterns could be explained by the gravitational influence of a previously unknown planet. They suggested that this hypothetical planet 9 would be approximately 10 times the mass of Earth and orbit the Sun in a highly elliptical path ranging from 400 to 800 astronomical units. When Neptune was discovered, it was extremely rapid. Astronomers found it on the first night of looking based on numerical forecasts. However, the hunt for Planet 9 has proven to be far more challenging. There are four main issues. The first is its distance. Planet 9 is believed to be 10 to 20 times farther from Earth than Pluto. At such a vast distance, the planet would receive very little sunlight, making it nearly invisible against the background of stars and difficult to detect with current telescopes. The second issue is that Planet 9's orbit is likely highly elliptical. This means that it could spend most of its time in the most distant and darkest regions of its orbit, far from the sun's illumination. When it is at these farthest points, the planet would be even fainter and harder to detect. The third issue is the vast area of the sky where Planet 9 could be located. This wide search area requires astronomers to meticulously scan large areas, often verifying and rechecking observations to ensure nothing is missed. Finally. The planet's slow movement across the sky complicates detection efforts. Due to its massive distance from the Sun, Planet 9 moves slowly relative to the background stars. This slow movement means identifying it from the background stars requires prolonged and repeated observations. Given these challenges, simulations become a crucial tool in the search for Planet 9. Simulations enable researchers to model complex systems and predict behaviors that are difficult or impossible to observe directly. Let's see how scientists use simulation to view the strongest factual evidence of Planet 9. The orbits of TNOs are not stable over long periods, north of millions of years. Neptune's strong gravitational pull can alter their orbits, 
scattering them widely, or even ejecting them completely from the inner planet group. This dynamism shows that TNOs are constantly perturbed into orbits intersecting with Neptune. To explore this further, a research team set up simulations based on the initial conditions assumed for the formation of the Oort cloud. The Oort cloud is believed to be a distant spherical shell of icy bodies surrounding the solar system, extending from around 2,000 to 100,000 astronomical units from the Sun. They selected TNOs with perihelia greater than 30 astronomical units and semi-major axes ranging from 100 to 5,000 astronomical units. Resulting in a simulation of 10,000 particles, the research team ran two sets of simulations, one including the speculated Planet 9 and its predicted location, and another without Planet 9. The results showed that Planet 9 could influence the orbits of TNOs through the direct coupling of the angular momentum vector. This vector describes the shape and orientation of an orbit under the influence of a force, such as gravity. Its direction provides the orientation of the orbit, and its size is directly linked with the orbital eccentricity. A zero angular momentum vector corresponds to a circular orbit, while non-zero values indicate elliptical orbits. Planet 9 can elongate these orbits and alter their inclination. The simulations indicated that without Planet 9, fewer TNOs come close to Neptune. Significantly, without Planet 9, the number of TNOs closely approaching Neptune sharply decreases as distance from the Sun decreases, peaking around 30 astronomical units. On the other hand, with Planet 9, the close approaches occur more consistently over a broader range of distances, starting from around 16 astronomical units. To validate their findings, the team conducted a statistical analysis comparing the patterns observed in the simulations with actual space data. They considered observational biases and matched the simulation results with 17 known TNOs that have perihelia under 30 and semi-major axes greater than 100. The analysis strongly supported the model including Planet 9, showing a much higher probability of 0.41 compared to just 0.34 for the model without Planet 9. This significant difference in probabilities indicates that the model with Planet 9 aligns more closely with the observed behaviors of TNOs, suggesting a significant role for Planet 9 in shaping their orbits. In the coming years, the Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile will begin its operations. Equipped with a powerful 8.4-meter telescope capable of conducting nightly all-sky surveys, this observatory will leverage the findings from recent studies including those suggesting the existence of Planet 9, by closely observing the movements of distant TNOs. If these TNOs consistently exhibit patterns of proximity to the Sun beyond around 16 astronomical units, as the Planet 9 model predicts, it could serve as a significant indicator of the elusive planet's presence. This combination of cutting-edge technology and groundbreaking research can greatly expand our understanding of the outer regions of our local planet group. It could ultimately lead to the long-anticipated confirmation of Planet 9. Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope measured how fast the universe is expanding. The results have confirmed the biggest crisis in cosmology, showing there's a major flaw in our currently accepted model of the universe. If you missed this episode, be sure to catch up with the fascinating discovery. And if you learned something new from this video, Please don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel for more updates. See you in the next one.